reading is the key to the world for all students, um, regardless of their age, regardless of their race, regardless of their background. Once a student learns how to read, they have the keys to their own future. They can use that reading to achieve whatever goals they want to uh, achieve. When a student doesn't have the necessary reading skills to interact with texts in the world, it really limits their opportunities. The third grade reading guarantee says that your child's school is to determine how well he or she is reading at the beginning of each school year up to third grade. If your child isn't reading at the standard reading level, the school must create a plan to help your child improve. Your child will have many chances to show his or her reading is improving. You can keep up to date on their reading level by talking to your child's teacher. Last year we looked at um, students who were third graders in I believe 2005. So this is you know going back a decade of all the students who were in third grade in 2005 and said well you know, at the time they took a third grade reading test and you know if they were proficient or non-proficient at the time what's the connection with that with future success? Well the, um, the students who were not proficient in 2005 were, were over three times more likely to not graduate on time. The students who were proficient and I'm talking about all the students statewide in 2005, those students were five times more likely to, to graduate college and career ready. They were five times more likely to have be remediation free, for example, um, and taking the ACT and SAT. So there's, this is a clear transition point. It's important that kids are able to read in third grade. It's, it's connection to later success um, is, uh, plays out in the, in the data and information that we have. The best things for parents to do to help get ready for students to meet the requirements of the third grade reading guarantee is to truly have their students read. They need to be reading, they need to be talking about what they read. They should be reading books that are a combination of a good fit for them, that aren't too hard or too easy, but what we call a just right reading level but they also should be reading things that they're interested in. It is very important for parents and teachers to work together closely on this. What we do recognize is something good teachers have always been doing, and that is we need to monitor the reading levels of our students, and we need to share that information with families. Throughout the year, classroom teachers are assessing students, we're reading with them, we're making notes about their reading, so we should have a good handle on what types of books are a good fit for students, and we need to then share that information with parents. A few samples of what students will be working on in first grade. Using phonics and word analysis skills to figure out unfamiliar words. Describing characters, settings, and major events in a story. Getting facts and information from different writings. Writing about topics, supplying facts, opening and closing participating in shared research and writing projects, taking part in conversations about topics and texts by asking and responding to others' questions. A few samples of what students will be working on in second grade. Paying close attention to details so they can answer who, what, when, why, and how questions. Determining the lesson or moral of stories, fables, and folktales. Using text features to locate key facts or information. Writing an opinion about a book using important details from the story to support that opinion. Writing stories that include a clean beginning, middle, and end. A few samples of what students will be working on in third grade. Reading closely to find a main idea and supporting details in a story. Describing the logical connection between particular sentences and paragraphs in stories. Comparing the most important points and key details in two books on the same topic writing opinions or explanations that combine related information and how to strengthen topics with facts and details, writing stories that establish a situation and include clear sequences of events that describe the inner workings of the characters. When we do have students that aren't making the progress that we would expect or hope given the classroom instruction, there are a variety of interventions that are put into place to help the child. This intervention time, we do our best to make sure it isn't taking away from their instruction or their free time. The students still need to have recess. They still need to participate in all the other activities in the classroom. We typically try and schedule intervention times for when students might be working independently in the classroom. There's a lot of time and effort and resources to do education. I believe there's no, there's no more important job than educating our youth. You know, we're, we're, we're making a difference. We're trying to make a difference here. It's a powerful thing to know that what I'm doing with seven and eight-year-olds right now is going to impact them the rest of their lives. 
And if I can do my job by teaching them how to read, and but even more importantly, how to enjoy reading and to see its value in their lives, then I know they are unlocking their futures.